Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a hard conversation to have. Mendisa from American Idol, Christian singer, gospel music artist, was found dead in her home in Nashville, Tennessee last night, Thursday, and it was reported today. There is an investigation going on trying to determine the cause of death. That's something we all want to know right away, right? Was it a tragedy? Was it somebody that took her life? Did she take her own life? Was it an illness? I mean, it just gives you a direction. Anybody that's dealt with grief, you do know that we need to know what direction of grief to go into. So as of right now, at the time of me making this video, there is no information about it. I woke up to a couple of text messages about it. I was in the same season of American Idol that Mandisa was on. We were both on season five and we have some mutual friends. I did not have the amazing opportunity opportunity to get to know her personally. We would have had that opportunity during like the group rounds when we all get together, whatever. But I got cut right before that. I got cut before the Hollywood group rounds. But I definitely do know from the people that know her, and I'm a fan, I've been a fan ever since she was on the show, that she was just this huge beacon of light to everybody that knew her. And I think that that's kind of, I think what's really especially heartbreaking for a situation like this, Mandisa was no Known for being the person that spoke out against letting something overtake you. She had songs like Overcomer. Yeah! And Stronger. Good Morning, where it's a brand new day, you declare it. It's a good morning. Wake up to a brand new I think that that's especially why this is really hard for a lot of us to process. It's hard not to, but I don't want to make any speculations about what her cause of death was. But when you look into this and you're Googling it, at least now until the news comes out, where we do know how she passed. A lot of it is about her mental health struggles and a lot of statements were made like she's not struggling anymore. Her background singer, I, I believe her name was Lakeisha, had passed several years ago due to breast cancer and Mendisa, clearly, I mean, that was one of her best friends, hasn't really gotten over that. If you learn some about her, I don't want to get too, too into it because some of it gets rather dark. Things that she experienced in her youth. Um, there's a story there for sure. And her response was to choose to love God and to be the answer, this encourager, this spokesperson for choosing not to let those things overtake you. She was in an interview not too, too long ago where she did speak candidly about some of her own negative thoughts about harming herself and how friends really helped bring her, pull her out of that place. My friend Keisha, she was pregnant with her second child when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. I really believe that God was going to heal her. I'm one of those people that when I feel like God has spoken something to me, I'm not gonna let up and I hold on to it with everything in me. So Keisha had one year with Brendan before she went home to be with Jesus. Mm. It shook the foundation underneath me. For three years, I sat in my house. I didn't wanna talk to Jesus. I didn't wanna listen to Jesus things. I didn't wanna open my Bible. I didn't want to see Jesus people. Um, I was in a deep pit of despair and I stayed there for about three years. I sat in my house and I watched television and I ate and I had pizza delivered and the only time I really left was to go and get more food. I didn't answer my phone. I didn't respond to text messages. At one point I had some friends pounding on my door. I went up to my bedroom, put in earplugs really? and would not answer the door. I pretended like I wasn't there. Mandy said, you love Jesus and if you were to die, you would be with Jesus right now in heaven. So if you take your life, you can be there with him. And that is... Yeah. I mean, that's truth. I believe that when I die, I'm going to be in heaven with Jesus. However, the enemy wanted me to take my life right then. And so that's what he did. Real quick, if you are new here, please take a moment to head over to that subscribe button and smash the bajangles out of it and ring the bell so that you can get notified the next time I drop another exciting video just like this one. I also really want to make sure that it's highlighted here in this video. One of the things that she's most famous for, which is actually pretty cool when you think about it, she was the person that got Simon Cowell to apologize. If you remember on American Idol, I keep on falling. she auditioned. Yes. 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 <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. 
And when she left the room, Simon Cowell made a comment about her weight. Do we have a bigger stage this year? <laughs> oh, come on. She's got like a Frenchie. Forget power. Frenchie, she's like France. <laughs> When they brought her back for Hollywood Round, of course it doesn't air live, so when she was brought back to Hollywood Week, they did show her the tape of what was said about her, and they had to discuss who was going to be in the top 24. She had her moment to confront Simon. You didn't need a bigger stage, but you could have got a bigger chair. (laughs) Simon, a lot of people want me to say a lot of things to you, but this is what I want to say to you is that, yes, you hurt me, and I cried, and it was painful. It really was. She actually told him that she forgives him in this really epic moment. I want you to know that I've forgiven you, and that you don't need someone to apologize in order to forgive somebody. I do love that she drew on her faith and gave a shout-out to God, (laughs) to Jesus, for being able to forgive her, which allows her that same grace. And I figured that if Jesus could die so that all of my wrongs could be forgiven, I can certainly extend that same grace to you. So I just wanted you to... Amen. Amen. Mandisa, I'm humbled. Come here, give me a kiss. (laughs) Come here. Well put. Give me a kiss. I'm just so appalling, aren't I? (laughs) Mandisa really made it cool in a way, I would say, early on in these earlier seasons of American Idol to sing about your faith. She did a performance of Shackles that was just incredible. I do remember that little awkward moment between her and Paula Abdul when Paula Abdul was like, There's a new religion and 40 million people have now joined the Church of Mandisa. Mandisa was not having it. The whole point of being a Christian is to, you know, to be this bright, shining light to focus onto God, to get people to not look at you, to look at God. I mean, of course, you're going to be on platforms. You're going to be doing whatever you can to operate in your gifts, but you don't want to be the focus of worship. It's about the Lord. Of course, Paula meant no harm in that. I just think that it was a a showcasing of different perspectives when it comes to faith. My favorite performance of hers was Never. when she went a little rock. And I love it. She says, sisters can rock too and covered heart. It was really incredible. Building from that American Idol success and me being a fan, I'm going to speak for myself, because I'm sure there's a lot of you that would agree with me. She went on to create her own music after the show that really went in on encouragement. Her song, Overcomer, was a massive hit in the Christian community. As well as Stronger, which is one of my personal favorites, and I may get emotional just thinking about that song right now. One of my former roommates and I used to always rock out to her song, Good Morning, every morning for like the several months that he lived with me. It was one of my favorite memories. Moments like this, when somebody does move on to the next life and those of us that are still on earth are left with grief and questions and all of those things, the lessons are for us, right? They're not for Mendisa anymore. She's beyond this place. It's a really painful, tragic lesson that we get reminded of all the time about how important it is to show up for people, how important it is to reach out, that you never know what somebody is going through behind the scenes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not just speaking about people that are you know, in the public view, but I just mean just everyday people in our lives, people that are our brothers, our sisters, our parents, our cousins, our aunts, our uncles. And I'm not saying that you have to just make amends and reconcile with everybody that hurt you and was toxic in your life or whatever. And I'm not saying that, but I am saying those people that you do have a positive rapport with, if a lot of time goes on where you haven't heard from them, it is okay 
maybe even would be beneficial to reach out and maybe not because you necessarily need something back from them. Like sometimes it's like, Hey, let's hang out. Let's um, let, you know, let's, let's talk or whatever. I mean, that's cozy. That's that works too. But then sometimes that actually starts to feel like a burden on that person. So even just something where it's like, Hey, you don't have to respond to this. If you'd like to, I would love to go have dinner with you. I'd love to talk with you on the phone, but I'm not expecting a response. I just want you to know that you're loved. I want you to know that I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you or I'm sending you whatever, you know, good thoughts or whatever. I just want you to know that you're important and I care about you and I'm thinking about you. And I hope that you have a good day today or a good rest of the week or a good weekend or as the week starting, you know, a good rest of the year or whatever. Just, just let people know that you're thinking about them can be the ultimate thing that can really pull somebody out of the pit. My heart goes out to everybody that knows of Mandisa, that was a fan of Mandisa, friends and family of her. She was very beloved here. For the rest of the day, I'm gonna be listening to her music probably for like the next week. I just wanted to share this with you. Maybe this is just a good reminder to all of us to reach out if we're ever having those thoughts. We're never alone. Right. And but we feel like we are alone sometimes and those thoughts can be consuming. Reach out to people that you haven't heard from in a while and just let them know that they're loved as well, because we never know what someone's going through. And just be kind to people in the grocery stores and fast food places <laughs> when you're going out shopping, when you're gathering your clothes, when you're going to work, when you're going to school, just in your day to day interactions with people on the bus stop, whatever. There's a story behind every pair of eyes. You don't know what they're going through. So be kind doesn't cost much to just be kind to people. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know this is kind of a brief video. My name is Gilbert. If you are new here, please press the subscribe button. Please press the like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you are new here. Let me know if you are a fan of Mendisa. And also let me know what are some of the things that help pick you up when you are feeling low. I would love to know that as well. Because I think that some other people also reading the comments might be able to kind of pull and draw from that. For me, music is always very healing and food <laughs> um, and also conversations with good friends. But I think my immediate go-to, I've learned breathing exercises when I'm having a lot of anxiety. I've had panic attacks. I think a lot of us have. Breathing really helps. It, it, it forces you to get centered, have thoughts about things that are tangible around you, touch. Find out what music really relaxes you. For me, it's worship music or a couple of ballads from Celine Dion. I'm being very serious. And just go into that, tap into that. Take care of yourself. Mental health is very important. Till next time, I love you. God bless you. And I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, okay? Bye.